This dish is... Elohim Ishma! Mmm! Wow! Dear viewers, this is your host, Dora Lezerovich. You are welcome to buckle up and join us on a journey of discovery of the Jewish community in the USA through food. It's going to be funny, it's going to be interesting, it's going to be exciting, and it's going to be delicious. So maybe you should unbuckle your seatbelts. The Jewish foodie, lift up. ברוכים הבאים לעוד פרק של הפודי היהודי, ואחרי שהתחלנו את המסע בניו יורק, אנחנו ממשיכים אותו בממפיס. אז בואו נתחיל ותכירו את קרן. That's an amazing place, first yeah, of all. Yeah, thanks for coming. It used to be uh, a beauty salon. A beauty salon? Yeah. yeah, let me show you around. Now that the rain is slowly better packed and we are lost inside. So you see the sinks behind the bar. These were from the salon, and that's where they used to get their hair done back in the 1940s, 50s, 60s, and 70s. All these hair dryer chairs were here. We just covered them up. And we, what we did was we made the booths where they used to get their hair washed and hair styled into our seating and eating booths. And Priscilla Presley, Elvis's wife, he brought her hair, and this is where she used to get her hair. Jewish food, right? It is Jewish food. And it was, you know, it came, I was brought up in an Orthodox family. And so every Sunday, we used to have deli Sundays, you know. Are you hungry? Of course. I'm going to bring you a menu. Yes, please. Oive fries? Yes, that's a loaded fry. Who picked up the names? I did. It's because I create all the menus, and the names are after people from my family, so or my best friends. And Hazel's is my mother's name. And she's 93, and she's kicking and doing incredible. You're getting ready to eat a lot of food. I have your oive fries. I have your Reuben and pastrami. This is our house-made potato chips. The PLTA, this is the crispy pastrami, avocado, arugula, tomato. And these are your oive fries. Pastrami, scallion. And these are, we call them corn fritters in the South. It's sort of our answer to a potato latke. That's my oive <laughs> table. I would say this is my gewalt <laughs> table. This is oive gewalt, is right. Oive gewalt table. Oive gewalt table. Wow, OK. You've got to start somewhere Should because there are Bobo's matzo balls coming next. OK, so, ah, there is more. Yeah. That's lacha. <laughs> we have a couple of more things coming out. Wow. 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 You should change it. Not like, oy vey fries, <laughs> it's nice. But it's not this dish. Okay. This dish is, Elohim Ishma! <laughs> you have to try the fritter. Yes, you do. And this is a sun-dried blueberry jalapeno mint chutney that we make in-house. So go for it. Just dip. And they're so light. You know, they're like a light latke. וואו, ממש הפתיע אותי. איך הצליחה לקחת אוכל יהודי של מסורת של שנים והפכה אותו פשוט למפיסאי? So it's interesting that we opened a deli, you know, a Jewish style deli um, in Memphis, but what you have to realize is there's a lot of Southern people and they know about deli food. They, they travel, you know, the people in the South don't just stay in the South. They travel all over. They're in New York, they're in Europe, they're in Israel, they're in California. They're very intelligent. And so when they come to eat this food, they're excited that we're melding cultures and different cuisines. And that's what I do. So you know on this soup, in America, Everybody knows matzo ball soup because it's supposed to cure your colds, you know, your coughs. And so on the menu, we call it Bobo's Jewish Penicillin. And I love the traditional plating. And we do that because it takes me back to my grandmother's house. And, you know, when I grew up, these were the plates that we ate off of, you know. And they were so beautiful and they weren't generic. And, and when you think about that, the food sort of lends itself to that. And so we try to keep that in the tradition of my history. Is it like common that people which are like non-Jewish will enter and say like, yeah, I would like to have the Bubba's oh, uh, matzo ball soup? All day long. 
Amazing. They eat it all day long, and all these sandwiches, they can't get enough. Does it make you feel proud? Yes, it does. Like, hey, <laughs> hey, that's my bubble. <laughs> that's my bubbles. <laughs> yeah. התשוקה שלה, וזה שהיא שומרת את המסורת של האוכל היהודי, זה כאילו עושה את זה מאוד חכם. זה כזה, כן, אני רק אקרא לזה מזו, ואז אתם תהיו חייבים לשאול אותי מה זה, ותשאלו אותי מה זה אויבי, ולאט לאט אני אסביר לכם על התרבות היהודית. Hello, enjoying your meal? Yeah. I'm Ori, I will be your waiter. Thank you. I came all the way from Israel, because I love the food here so much, and Karen is a friend. How did you hear about this place? The reviews are excellent. Can you read this for me? It says, uh, oy vey fries? Yeah. Is that right? Oy vey. Oy vey. Oy vey fries. Oy vey fries. Yeah. yeah. So Jewish. So Jewish. <laughs> Is that the feeling that you get when you eat these fries? Do yeah. you want to say oy vey? I tried it, and my reaction was like, how was it? It was like very delicate. It was like, I took a bite, and then I felt like the taste in my mouth, and I was like, and I'm small! <laughs> that was my reaction. Okay? It was like, oh my God! So you know I have family in Rosh Pina. So my aunt and uncle, would li they lived on the top, right next to the oldest synagogue in Israel. And um, it's one of my favorite places. So you've been to Israel how many times? Five, five times. Do you like the food in Israel? Do I like the food? I love the food in Israel. And you will see that reflected, a lot of the Israeli food is reflected on our brunch menu and our dinner menus. I'm Jewish. I've spent a lot of time in Jamaica, in Israel, in Mexico, in New Orleans, and all those sun-drenched cuisines reflect on my food. Karen, thank you so much. You're my mammoth. You're amazing. I'm my mammoth. Okay. My mammoth. Okay. And when I left the place to work, I was able to meet with Ricky. You're right. אני מאוד רעב. לא מאמין שכל הסדרה אתה רעב גם. בוא, 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 בוא שנייה נדבר עם הצופים בצורה כנה. אני תמיד רעב. פגשתי את אחת הבחורות הכי מתוקות בממפיס, מתוקות, תרתי משמע, כי יש לה בעצם בייקרי של עוגיות. הלו! היי, אתה ריקי? אני ריקי. היי, אני אורי. היי, נכון להיות איתך. נכון להיות איתך גם. אה, אני אוהב את הגלסת. תודה, מישראל. אז אתה היית בישראל? אני הייתי בישראל, בטח. אתה אוהב את זה? אני אוהב את זה. מה הקוקי הראשון שלך? Mine. So we're having a show about food okay. and about uh, Jewish people. That's us. That's us. Chocolate chips and memories, coffee and Omega cookies, they make me feel at home. Tell me about your place. Well, I have been here in Ricky's Cookie Corner for 22 years. Amazing. And that's kosher, like 100% kosher place in Memphis. Right, yeah. Wow. We ship, but we ship all over the country to New York, L.A. I'm from here. I'm born and raised here. I'm in Memphis. Nice. Yep. And you have, like, a big Jewish community in here, or...? Um, there aren't enough Jewish people living in Memphis, Tennessee, to support a store like this. My mother was a big baker, so that's how I got into doing this. You got it from your mama? Yeah. She made chocolate chips, she made cakes, pies, she made ragalach. She decorated all of my kids' birthday cakes. Everyone had their own special birthday cake. She was great. And which cookie is better, yours or hers? <laughs> <laughs> she made good cookies, but I'm, this I've been doing for, like I say, probably 40 years, and oh. I sell mi millions. You started in age of five? <laughs> No, but um, I feel no, it's been it's been a great it's been a really great thing. I would like to talk with you about the girl. That's the me. Poster. That's you. That's me. Before when I had brown hair. You look Yemen. Oh, do she I? She so very. <laughs> That's me. Ori, would you like to come to the back to make some hamantashen? Of course. Sure. Let's go. Of course. All right. This is where it all happens. 
right here. Wow. like the busiest time of the year before Purim? Yeah, we've been very busy. I think we've made probably thousands. Yeah. Thousands, and we've shipped them all up. The non-Jewish people around right. here, they love the ham and Yeah. All right, let me get you some change. In the South, we're in the Bible Belt here. There are a lot of churches and a lot of uh, Bible study groups. They all study the Book of Esther. You can't get these anywhere else in Memphis, so they all come in and buy them. Have you ever done this before? Um, no. Okay, well, there's always a first. You pitch one side, then you bring the other up, so you make a triangle. Yeah, yeah, let's see, pitch, yeah. Yeah, yeah that's a good one. Yeah, you sure you've never done this before? Yeah. You're very good. Wow. You looking for a job? I don't have, yeah, actually, yes. And I heard you brought me a little gift. Yeah, halva hairs. I love that. Okay. And then we're gonna try it right here. Sure. Yeah, I love, love it. I'll have to take one to my dad because he loves halva. Tony, you wanna try? Do it. That's awesome. <laughs> How is it for you to work in a kosher place? Oh, it's nice. I love it. <laughs> I've been here for 22 years. And I, I wouldn't. 22. Years. W w listen, we have to talk about your age, guys. You all look like super young, <laughs> and then it's like. She's like, yeah, uh, 80 years ago. Yeah, right. Uh, All right. Hi, I'm Yore Lezerovich, a comic writer and a professional writer. Okay. Bull like the oven that I have in the The oven is like 50 year, more than 50 years old. I get 108 collars in here at one time. Go ahead. Start. There you go. Well, let's check it out. Wow. Ta-da. Wow. All right, you did a great job. So where can I start to work here? <laughs> I'm not so sure you're cut out to be do this all the time. Ricky Mushlemet, a makom shel mushlam, a ugiot shel mushlamot. Ma shel pachot mushlam, zeh shiluvi machalva, kizeh mamash nirek mo ozen amitit. 